Hey, how's it hanging, you beef burrito? A friendly reminder that there's still beauty and goodness and hope in this world. It's just the folks that have the loudest voices don't really talk about it, but it's there. Welcome back to Microscope. My name is Mike. Well, hey, look at you. You're such a nerd, you can't even help yourself. You just can't get enough of the microcosmos. And we're back again with a fun time learning episode, and today we're learning about the Kaidoras. Look at that thing down there. Ooh, it's it's a goober. Kaidoras is a genus of microscopic bivalved crustaceans that fall under the family of Kaidoridae. They're typically about 0.2 millimeters to a full millimeter in size. The average is about half a millimeter. They have a simple eye spot and something called an ocellus, which is another simple kind of eye structure. They have a pretty cool digestive system in there, and obviously they have a carapace created by that bivalve. Um, the shells that go around them that protect them from predation and really damage in general. You can find Kaidoras in any freshwater habitat, ponds, lakes, streams, creeks, typically among the benthic region. However, in eutrophic waters, they're found in a place called the littoral region or zone. It just means near shore. I know how I feel about that one, scientist. I love you. Their head's adorned by antennae, which they use to locomote, but also some chemoreceptive or sensing qualities to those, so that's pretty cool. They also have six pairs of thoracic appendages, which they use for filter feeding to bring food uh, to the mouth by creating a water current with those little leggies. Kind of weird way to eat, but... I don't make the rules. Typically, they're translucent in color, but that depends upon the species that we're talking about within this genus. Some may have some pigmentation that may provide a bit of yellow or brown coloring to them. And then, of course, food pigmentation, whatever they're eating. Since they're translucent, you can kind of see that they've got some color in their tum-tum. That's pretty cool. They locomote or move around wildly using those antenna in kind of a breaststroke motion to propel themselves forward. But they can also kind of synchronize all their appendages at once and kind of like give a little jump through the water. It's pretty cool. Kaidoras are typically filter feeders, meaning they can feed on whatever is suspended in the water. That can be bacteria, that can be little bits of algae, as well as fine bits of organic matter that um, are light enough to get suspended in the water. Really, anything that's small enough to fit into its mouth, it's... It's gonna eat it, that's how it works. The lifespan, as with nearly every single microorganism, does depend upon which species we're talking about, as well as the environmental conditions and factors that they deal with. I'm talking a few weeks to a few months, depending on the species and the environment. So, you know, never a straight answer here. That's what we do. The reproductive methods of the Kaidoras are exciting, to say the absolute least about it. They engage in a process called cyclic parthenogenesis, which essentially means long periods of time in which females will only use parthenogenesis to create an egg and therefore an embryo without the need for fertilization from a partner. That's kind of alternated by periods of reproduction with a partner. I mean, I guess that's a good way to keep things fresh, y you know? Cool stuff. It's important to note that this reproductive process is impacted by things like food availability and temperature, so it plays a huge role. Under the ice during winter, these little goobers are still able to function and reproduce. They reach pretty high population levels in the winter. Who would have thought? Who would, who would have thunk it ever? Not me. And this microcrustacean, like all other microorganisms, play a huge role in something called nutrient cycling, which essentially is an organism will eat one thing and then poop it out and their poop's food for another thing. It's weird, but just go with it. They're also important prey species for things like small fish, aquatic insects, their larvae and nymphs, tadpoles, and other microcrustaceans. Wow, I love that. And here's a super fun bonus fact, followed by an incredibly boring history fact. The Kaidoras are of cosmopolitan distribution, meaning you would find them in any expected environment. So any freshwater habitat around the world, you would expect to find Kaidoras. Good on you. Good job, you little micro-goobers. And in 1816, it was discovered by a man named William Alfred Leach. It's my man, Willie. Thanks, Willie. Well, I had fun on this one. I hope you did too. And as always, thanks for watching. Remember to love yourself. I'll see you next time.